I was attacked while on the dialogue screen, and now I can't move. Wait, what's that smell? Ah, smells like Bethesda. Almost heaven, West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountains, Shenandoah River. Life is all there, older than the trees, younger than the mountains, growing like the breeze. Country roads, take me home to the Let me know if you need help with anything. Oh my. You'll have to excuse world, me. Man, with all the wrongs my husband's been making, I should be taking better care of my It's so difficult to get any rest. angry at for, for paying off the neon of their dignity so far. They I don't think they I think my husband's certain discreet to tell you to I don't think he's listening to the to celebrate the release of, of Starfield, the hot new game that everybody's saying is Bethesda's most polished game to date, which is definitely not damning it with faint praise. Anyway, today we are going to be talking about encumbrance in games, specifically because of Starfield, which is completely polished. Uh, one review said it was polished to a mirror sheen. Yeah, possibly a, a bathroom mirror in Blackpool. Regional joke. <laughs> Nobody has ever seen some loot in a game and said, you know, it would be more fun if I couldn't carry this. Nobody has ever demanded encumbrance be added to a game. Oh, that's right, wankathons. It's time we talked about encumbrance or encumberment. Whatever it's called. I prefer to refer to it under the label I've chosen for this awful time-wasting joy kill of a shitty system that needs to fuck off and die face down in a dirty little pond, and I call it the awful time-wasting joy kill of a shitty system that needs to fuck off and die face down in a dirty little pond. T.M. I try to be clever, call it load blowing or overload overload or benedictine cumberbatch but none of those names are actually clever so i figured i'd just treat the whole concept with the respect it deserves and call it an awful time wasting joy kill of a shitty system that needs to fuck off and die face down in a dirty little pond because that's all it is Carrying capacity and the hassling restriction thereof is right up there with pointless stamina meters, weapon durability, slipping while climbing, and pretty much everything else in Breath of the Tears of the Wild Kingdom that pisses me the fuck off and makes me never want to play more than the half an hour of it that I did before getting an AI to write my review for me. I am, of course, bringing this all up because of Starfield, Bethesda's latest Bethesda game that, having played it for over 20 hours now, is something I can describe as really just another Bethesda game benefiting from the undeserved level of auto-generated hype and critical acclaim heaped onto it not just by fans but by a gaming journalism establishment that refused to cover the story of Xenomax and Bethesda's mistreatment of a trans woman including outing her to colleagues and trying to make her promise not to take them to court in exchange for her gender-affirming medical care. Basically, Starfield as a game 
is fine. I've played it quite a bit and it's just more of Bethesda's usual stuff. A big and glitchy open space full of NPCs who immediately trust you to carry out random deliveries, rescues and hostage negotiations because they know that you're the protagonist of a world that feels like it's made out of cardboard and populated exclusively by automatons. Outside of its size and some graphical improvements, it feels like there's been very little evolution from Bethesda's other games, with so much atmosphere, gameplay, structuring, and even some assets seen as far back as Fallout 3. I really do mean for both good and ill, this is a Bethesda game through and through. Only this time with gameplay features merrily borrowed from No Man's Sky and layered with overcomplicated and underexplained mechanics that mostly serve to get in the way of the fun. Oh, and there is fun to be had, rest assured, just because I'm not one of the millions who miraculously and conveniently forget how inept, untrustworthy and odious Bethesda is the moment they release a new game doesn't mean I can't do my job as a professional critic and point out where the game's going well. Its rudimentary combat is rather enjoyable, the influence you have on what to put into the world and where to live is rather engrossing, and despite finding most of it barren and unenjoyable to explore, I must say the sheer scale of it all is rather impressive, though of course I'd rather have a much smaller but subsequently denser experience pretty much every single time. So wrong, so firm, so fully packed. Now, I'd also praise the building mechanics, which do genuinely seem to be improved since Fallout 76, or at least better presented, but here's the thing. Thanks to encumbrance, I felt distinctly discouraged from bothering. If nothing else, I felt little compulsion to explore, gather resources and find items, because one starting encumbrance level is absolutely fucking poultry. Resources required for crafting and building can weigh considerable amounts, and the constant need to go micromanage one's inventory is about as entertaining as it's always been in games of this type. Not fucking entertaining at all. Within the first hour of playing Starfield, I became encumbered, which reduces your stamina and eventually your health if you try to move faster than a casual walk. And of course it disables fast travel. Within the first two hours, I had maxed out my robot's carrying capacity as well. It took considerably longer to fill my spaceship with so many crafting materials it hit the item limit, but I managed that too, all before I reached a point in the game where, mercifully, you can find a limitless storage container, though naturally it's planet-side and hardly the most convenient thing to ever get to. After complaining about it on social media, I already had people defending it, albeit rather unconvincingly. Mostly, I've had rather dismissive responses along the lines of, eh, so it's a Bethesda game, which, yes, yes, you're right. You are technically correct. The best kind of correct. Having to choose between dropping potentially useful items or agonizingly crawling to a locker has been part and parcel of the Bethesda experience for nine decades now. But that's the rub, isn't it? It's been decades without anybody at that fucking studio stopping to ask themselves if what they're doing is actually fun and convenient for the player or a hassle that undermines the rest of the experience. Dissuading players from exploring the world and wasting their time to the point of putting them off the game entirely. Like, does anybody at any of these mainstream game studios ever wonder if they're doing something because it makes the game better or because it's just the way they've always done it and they're so fucking myopic they can't imagine a world where they just, you know, take out the bad thing. In my first explorations of its universe, Starfield felt markedly worse about this than any other Bethesda game as far as I experienced. I have never been encumbered so fast in any Elder Scrolls or Fallout game, nor have I been encumbered so many times. Thanks to the weight of resources, the companion inventory limits and the player character's piss poor capacity, I've spent so much time fiddling in the menu and had to leave so much potentially lucrative loot behind in just the first few hours that I think I've already eclipsed the amount of times it happened in the entirety of any other Bethesda game. There's a reason why if you google it you can find whole articles talking about encumbrance and how to mitigate it. Putting skill points into carrying capacity instead of actual fun skills feels borderline mandatory and it barely even helps. Starfield suffers from what I always 
call skill parring, where you're dumping experience into a skill to get it to the point where it's on par with the starting skill level of a protagonist in a better structured game. After a long ass time of playing, I located a helmet that reduced resource weight by 25%. A fucking godsend. A godsend I felt I'd need to be tethered to if I wanted to do what comes natural with a game of this nature and, you know, loot all the loot that loots at you. Although, in fairness, it wasn't much of a problem because by the time I found that helmet, I'd fucking given up carrying resources. Like I was so put off by the first few hours that I just stopped engaging with entire portions of the game. Things got so bad that I started to get fucking anxious about picking stuff up. Every gun, every helmet, every cup of fucking water could place the dreaded encumbrance warning on the corner of my screen, leading to yet another agonizing trawl through my inventory to balance the weight to value ratio of stuff I'd have just rather taken to a merchant and enjoyed the reward that I fought to obtain. You know what's not rewarding? Blasting a crew of vicious space pirates to smithereens and having to leave all your hard one treasure behind. Fuck that shit. Is it really necessary for you to drag around all that gear? I wouldn't have it any other way, is another defense I've seen more than once. That's literally it, too. People not wanting to change it just because it's how it's always been, and like the developers themselves, they haven't imagined a better world. I've been fucking bewildered by this attitude. I even asked one fan why. They wouldn't have it any other way what it is about dumping items every 10 minutes that they find so fun. Their response was simply, I can't tell you why, I just do. Look, I'm not one to judge how you get your amusement. More power to you. I won't say what I want to say in reply as a sign of that respect. Doesn't mean I won't make Reggie say it though. What's wrong with you? Encumbrance in any game is a fucking horrible, annoying and stupid feature. Now, then, forever. Going all the way back to the first Diablo, a considerably younger Stephanie was frequently frustrated by the constant cries of I can't carry anymore. Like, the whole fucking point of the game is to acquire loot, isn't it? That's Diablo! Crawl in dungeon, pick up loot, equip or sell loot, repeat. Putting an arbitrary weight or size limit on your hero so they spend less time bashing skeletons and more time quietly and irritatedly rearranging their luggage serves to severely de-emphasize the entire reason people play these fucking games. The only exception you could make for encumbrance in a game is survival horror. But even then, it's mostly fucking annoying and not actually challenging. Appeal to challenge is another fallacy in game defenses. And honestly, if you're just running back and forth through rooms you've already cleared of monsters to use items because you have to keep ferrying them from your storage box to where they're used, the only challenge comes from trying to stay awake. A horror game from last year, Signalis, took this to a ludicrous extreme, limiting your inventory to six items. The result was, well, running back and forth through the same old rooms, ferrying items and trying not to be bought out of your fucking skull. It was so shit the developer had to address it with a promise to fix it. But even then, they tried to present the inventory limit as a, as a challenge to the player, rather than the pain in the ass it is. Oh, but it's realistic, some will say. It ruins the immersion if you can carry more than 150 pounds. Bitch, shut it. Realism is among the absolute worst defenses of anything a video game ever does, ever. Not least a fantasy or sci-fi one with goblins and space dogfights and shit. When even more grounded games like Call of Duty have regenerating health and the player surviving stunts that would obliterate a normal human body into a fine red mist, the appeal to realism is absolute fucking garbage and always will be. Besides which, when most of these games let you waste enough skill points to make your carrying capacity unrealistic, this fallacious bullshit doesn't have a leg to stand on. I do not play a sci-fi game where I fight space pirates and build robots to cultivate moon gardens because I want to have a realistic time. I'm not out of my fucking mind like that. Why are you working on the assumption that the gas is just going to be like at atmospheric pressure? Like, the canister that the gas goes in has wet, right? And yeah. the gas, if you compress it down, like, that's more gas in the same amount of space. Mm -hmm. So it's denser, and the denser something is, right, 
the more heavy the same size chunk of it will be. So I don't think that it's unreasonable for the helium to have a wear. Just it... put it in fucking balloons. There are easy fixes, many of which have been implemented in games that imaginatively solve problems rather than regurgitate them as part of a thoughtlessly obeyed blueprint. Torchlight, for example, gives you a pet that you can send back to town to sell all your surplus loot for you. It's not only a fun way to alleviate the hassle and the potential to leave money on the floor, it works really well to reinforce a fondness for your pet, not only improving the encumbrance mechanic, but actually using it to inform other aspects of the game. It's like they thought about this for more than five seconds. Of course, you don't need a dog to lighten your burden. Baldur's Gate 3, the quality of which has honestly made Bethesda's bullshit routine so much harder to tolerate this time, allows you to automatically send any item you wish to your camp, where it'll be kept in a chest that has room for everything you need and can still be accessed pretty much any time you like. Now, I have some criticisms of Baldur's Gate 3 rather unwieldy gear and item menus overall, but at least they did something about encumbrance, and that's besides ensuring that you can carry enough stuff to where it doesn't come up half as much. I'm not joking at all when I say that in my 60 plus hours of BG3, I've been encumbered less than half as much as I have in Starfield with a fraction of the playtime. You could also, say, not have resources weigh anything if you want the player to pick up loads of resources. Let me tell you, nothing is more ridiculous than going over your carry limit because you picked up too much helium. Yes, helium. I have, in fact, been encumbered multiple times already because I picked up too much gas, i.e. glorified air. So much for appeal to realism. The weight of resources, which can either be heavy for individual items or become heavy after accruing dozens of the same thing, is an absolute killer because, at least in the beginning, you don't really know what resources you need and you'll be loath to leave anything behind in case you do need it. I mean, the game presents itself like No Man's Sky from the outset, so at first I did No Man's Sky shit, drilling for ore, until I realised I can't carry any ore. Though that might be reflective of some of Starfield's other problems, its terrible presentation and piss-poor explanation of its own concept. Given how messy and overwhelming the crafting and building and resource management is overall, one still struggles to tell the useful shit from the just plain shit after hours of playing. At any rate, I've honestly just given up on it now. I was never into the building aspects of Fallout 4 anyway, and while crafting gear mod seems cool, my starting background was geared towards commerce and stuff, so I've had no trouble just buying the things I want. While I was initially interested in doing more crafting this time around, honestly, I can't be fucked anymore. I just can't be fucked. Not bothering has really helped with the encumbrance, though I still get bogged down in stuff if I dare to explore a planet too thoroughly. Of course, you can have a dog, you can have a camp, you can have weightless resources, but there's one quick fix that won't unbalance the game, won't make it less fun, and will actively, explicitly improve the user experience. Just don't fucking have encumbrance. Just don't have it! Sorry, but this is even more black and white than the hotly contested weapon durability debate. For all the talk of how weapon durability forces you to experiment and has a whole game balanced around it, I defy you. I defy you as I defy a thousand dead gods to tell me how removing encumberment from any Bethesda game from any RPG on the planet would make the experience less enjoyable. And by that, I mean explain it to me in a way that makes sense and isn't some vague preference rooted in such apparent masochism that even someone who wears a fucking collar thinks you're hurting yourself too much. Oh, and don't try to fob me or anyone else off with, it's not that bad. Yes, it is. It's factually that bad. Encumbrance in games is bad. Technically, that's my opinion, but let's face it, it's borderline objective. Nobody has ever seen some loot in a game and said, you know, it would be more fun if I couldn't carry this. Nobody has ever demanded encumbrance be added to a game, just like weapon durability. It's something people retroactively defend when it's included, but never request when it isn't. Anybody who claims otherwise is making shit up. It's the extra poo that makes all the difference. Country roads take me home to the place where I belong. West Virginia, mountain mama, 
Take me home, country roads. Brilliant. Thank God for me. Yahoo! Wahoo! Yahoo! Ow. Nobody here. It's just you and me. It's where I want to be. But I hardly know This beauty by my side It's gone right at the high bit Oh well, it doesn't matter